So I'm here with Horseman and we're literally just finished recording our single hits pack. Now we've individually sampled and recorded Horseman's drum kit here which is a late 70s classic Rogers with a huge 24 inch bass drum. multi mic it just like we would do for a full recording session. We've got a brilliant AKG 1960s D25 on the kick drum which is monstrous. We've got 414s on the snare and the hi-hats just like normally when we record and uh, a mixture of ribbon mics around here as well and some secret ones up in the roof that you can't even see. Horseman has sampled not only each individual drum but each articulation so what that means is the different velocities from very quiet to very loud and at different points within the drum itself so we've got hits that have been done from the center of the drum making their way out right to the edge. If you play Horseman's pack and the contact kit using something like the V drum when you actually play it to the side of the rim, it will actually realistically recreate the sound of the snare drum or the timbali doing the same effect here. So it's thousands and thousands of samples and probably millions of variations. So this is what we've been doing for the last couple of days and it includes the cymbal hits, the bongos and so on. So welcome to my drum world. The drum sound is important and plus the studio is important, you know what I mean, to get the right sound and the right feel and you know what I mean and everything just go into place and you know it gel. Yeah. Drums live and direct. Yeah man, blessed.